Another mass shooting has happened in the United States of America, this time at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, where 14 children were shot dead along with a teacher. Now, there are other individuals who were injured. We don't have all of those details yet. Um, there's at least one 10-year-old girl in critical condition at the hospital, and we also don't know how the gun was obtained, what the motive is, but one thing that we know for sure is that not a goddamn thing is going to be done to stop another mass shooting from happening next week and the week after, because this is just what we've become accustomed to in the United States, where if you're at school, you can be shot dead at any time. If you're at a grocery store, a gunman can walk in and open fire on you, and it just will keep happening, and there's no amount of deaths that will actually galvanize the government, specifically the Republican Party, to act. But yet, they're going to feign outrage over this thing that they allowed to happen to students again. And it's just, it's nauseating to, to report on this. Now, what little information that we have... I'm going to give it to you. This is courtesy of the New York Times. A gunman walked into an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas on Tuesday afternoon and killed 14 children and a teacher, Governor Greg Abbott said at a news conference on Tuesday. Police are believed to have killed the gunman. The assailant was an 18-year-old man who abandoned his vehicle and entered the school with a handgun and possibly a rifle, Mr. Abbott said. He shot and killed horrifically incomprehensibly 14 students and killed a teacher, Mr. Abbott said. Two children who were killed had died by the time they arrived at Uvalde Memorial Hospital. Adam Apollinaire, the hospital's chief operating officer, said earlier in the afternoon, their ages were not immediately released. It's heartbreaking. And, you know, even though we expect this to happen in the United States, it doesn't make it any easier. It just, it keeps happening. And before you can even process the current mass shooting or the last mass shooting, there's this looming dread knowing that this is going to happen probably next week. Again, who knows where it's going to be at? Perhaps, you know, another elementary school grocery store again. We don't know. But this is life in the United States of America. And I just want to stress to all of my non-American viewers, if you're wondering, maybe this is going to be, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back. There is no straw that broke the camel's back. This is going to keep happening and nothing will happen. And I tweeted about this and it's pretty cynical, but it's accurate. There could be a thousand kids shot dead and still Republicans will not even do the most basic gun control. Now, again, we don't know the details. We don't know how the gun was obtained. But as I said earlier, not to sound like a broken record, we all know that nothing's going to come of this. It's just going to keep happening. This is life in the United States of America. We have a party that will turn women into second-class citizens to protect zygotes. But when it comes to stopping children from being slaughtered at schools, fuck it. Thoughts and prayers. In fact, that's literally the response. Ted Cruz, the senator who represents this state, tweeted out, Heidi and I are fervently lifting up in prayer the children and families in the horrific shooting in Uvalde. We are in close contact with local officials, but the precise details are still unfolding. Thank you to heroic law enforcement and first responders for acting so swiftly. Yeah, Nina Turner had the best response to this. She replied by saying, well, you're thanking them for acting swiftly, but when are you going to act swiftly? I mean, take those thoughts and prayers and shove them up your asshole, Ted Cruz. Do you think that your thoughts and prayers is going to make any of these parents feel better or bring back those lives? What matters is action. Doing something to stop this. So go fuck yourself. How dare you speak right now? You should be afraid to show your face after you've been one of the individuals who's blocking this. And as Brian Tyler Cohen points out, this is Tony Gonzalez, who represents the district that contains the elementary school in Uvalde, Texas, that just got shot up. Here's a couple of tweets from him. I voted no on two gun control measures in the House today. I am a proud supporter of the Second Amendment and will do everything I can to oppose gun grabs from the far left. He also writes, the radical left wants to take away your guns, not on my watch, proud to defend your Second Amendment. Well, thank God we have people there to defend our Second Amendment rights. If only, you know, our right to just exist, if children's right to not be slaughtered in schools was a thing you'd defend, that'd be really fucking great, but not in the United States of America. 
this is a country that has a very, very sick culture, and we have one of two political parties that is effectively a death cult at this point. I mean, we just passed a million COVID deaths, and nobody even talks about that. So death is just something that Americans have grown accustomed to, not just with this, but with Healthcare. Thousands of Americans die every single year because they don't have basic access to healthcare. People are sleeping on the streets and dying due to hunger in this country. And that's just the way it is in the United States of America. A sick, disgusting, perverted culture that we have that allows this. So I don't have really anything to add. Uh, I just wanted to talk about this and share my immediate thoughts. I usually don't react to mass shootings, but it just feels like, I don't know, I wanted to share my immediate thoughts because sometimes the way that people react to tragic news stories uh, in, in a good way is like listening to other people and maybe that helps them process what's happening. Maybe this will help you process. I, I'm not really sure. Maybe, you know, this is therapeutic for me to get on camera and talk about it. I'm not necessarily sure, but this happened again. Nobody's surprised and nothing will be done to stop gun violence in the United States. And it's just, it's a sad state of affairs, but this is what we've grown accustomed to.